Hello painters, it's Debbie at AcrylicPouring.com. Now it's not very often that I start off the video with the painting already finished, except this video is a continuation of the one that I posted yesterday. This is the painting that I did with the spiral and I just didn't like it. I fiddled with it, I still didn't like it. So I've decided that this one is a re-pour and I'm actually doing it pretty much straight after. So the paint on this one is still wet. I've still got a half a cup from my um, dirty pour. It's kind of mixed up though. It's very, very mixed, but I thought, well, I've got nothing to lose. Sometimes, you know, when you, you, ha you can keep fiddling with things until you make a success of them. So I'm gonna try that today. I'm gonna flip the rest of this dirty cup onto this already wet canvas that I didn't like, and let's see what happens. So there we go. It's already kind of mixed. Um, so, you know, we may end up with something which isn't particularly exciting and I didn't have a lot of contrast in the colours originally, so maybe when this comes out it'll also kind of be a bit blur. You know, sometimes your colour choices aren't great, mine often aren't great, and I thought I had enough contrast but when they kind of mixed it looked a little bit samey and it didn't give me the kind of impact I was looking for. So, let's see what happens when we lift this up and see if it looks any better. Uh, uh, no, that doesn't look good. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. You know, I've been saying for a while that I, I feel my, so, my um, painting mojo is uh, a little bit lacking right now. And I think, yes, that looks a little bit lacking. I mean, th there's a lot of gold in it. And maybe when it dries, it would look good. So I'm going to persevere. Let's use my little stick here and get all the little bits out of this cup, get it all on the canvas and let's move it around and see what happens shall we. What's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is it doesn't work out and I just scrape it all off and I've got another canvas to paint again. So let's see, let's see what I can make of it. I will concentrate hard and I'm kind of doing my best because I never like to have failed projects. None of us do, do we? But it does happen. Uh, I seem to be on a bit of a roll of failed projects right now. But maybe this one will turn out to be something a bit more interesting. Let's see. Certainly got really big cells now because they've stretched right out. So, let's see, one more corner to go. And really now all it's doing is basically pouring off um, the original spiral pour that I didn't like. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that down. My hands are a bit painty, so let me go and wipe my hands and then we'll see if it actually looks any good or whether my mojo is well and truly missing. Well, I'm back and would you believe it? I actually quite like it. I think um, I've certainly averted disaster with that spiral pour that I did that I really didn't like at all. And now that I've flipped on top of it with the remaining paint, I think I've got quite a nice um, composition there. It's still subtle, but I think now that the paints have spread a little bit more, it's got a little bit more variety to it. So let's take a look at the, some of the details on it. So there we go. And now it looks more like I was hoping for originally. I mean, not from the spiral, but just the, the color combinations where I've now got a lot more gold. And I think the purple and the gold are gonna look really, really good together. It's also got more, um, more purple, more blue. The colors are a lot more separate. You can even see more of the pink from the magenta and so on that was added. So I think just by spreading it out a lot more, by um, flipping the whole cup, spreading it, just being prepared to tilt more paint off the sides, then I think I've got more of the look that I was going for. I think it will look good when it's dry because of the all of the gold in it. I can already see, you know, with the gold and the turquoise and things here, I can see that the colors I think are gonna look good. So I will keep it and dry it. And uh, if it turns out any good, you can hang on for a few extra seconds and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. 
And here it is finished. And I am so delighted that I persevered with these paints and this painting because it really is one of my favorites. I know I say it every time. Well, not every time, some of them are dreadful, but this one is so glorious. The colors are wonderful. The gold veins that run through it are just so metallic and shiny. The purple and the blue, really, really nice. So this one will be going in my Etsy shop soon. And, um, as usual, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you at acrylicpouring.com or back here on the YouTube channel very soon.